Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. I am a peach, <laughs> and I am a Grady baby. <laughs> You're a Grady baby. The huh? old Grady you baby. You say that proudly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Why, why, why so much pride with saying that? Because most of us were born at Grady or at home. My mother and them grew up in what was called Chestnut Alley, which was down in uh, Beaufort, which was an old black neighborhood that had the only black high school that people could go to in the metro Atlanta. And that was David T. Howard. I don't care who you was, that's where you went. I lived in Mechanicsville. Okay. It was named after trade there. And it was a poor neighborhood, poor humble beginning. That was my neighborhood. It was a poor area, but they believe in church, education, and working. Your grandmother was a caregiver. Your grandmother was a midwife. And, and do you think that's where you get that desire to help people and to be a caregiver because of what you saw in your grandmother? <laughs> I think, yes, that's true because our lives are pretty much parallel. Tell me your response to finding out that you were going to be granted a wish of a lifetime. I was excited and I was inspired by another senior who had did the trip and went to Washington, D.C. And I said, oh, I want that. So anyway, I talked to my uncle about it. He took it up. So he did a wish of a lifetime to California. On April the 8th, Connor calls me back and say, you have been approved. I was excited, it lighted, that I was gonna be able to get it. And to be able to hear all this here, come to Charleston, and they were gonna pay for it all. And then I could hear about what I wanted to hear about do some of the things that I wanted to do, and to know that there's a program here that lets you come and you can choose anywhere in the United States that you want to go, and this is something that you can have. And the more that I can learn about me, it helps me. And then I pass it on to my children, which they probably get tired of me talking about. <laughs> but you learn. It's important to me. It might not be to others, but it is to me. Right. You need to know where you came from. Because you don't know where you came from, you don't know where you're going exactly. or what you need to do. Mm -hmm. so, so it was just excitement coming here that there's so much more that you can learn. And I said, when I can come here now and to see this, and I want to come back and bring my family and make maybe a week or two here where we can just take the time to just see it all because it's good to know about yourself. And as I walked through, I saw so many things here, and I wanted to sit down and hit it, talk the movies and the different things they had, had to learn more. And definitely when I saw all the stuff about the gully people, I said, I want to come back, I want to come back. And there was a book over here they had about the gully uh, people here. I said, I want to come back and buy that book. This place here that's given us a look at what you can find by doing a genealogy look at your family. And it's good to know where you came from because not knowing where you came from, how can you develop into anything? That is your basis. It also tells you why you act the way you do, why you think the way you do, because some of this stuff is coming from you inside. And because you don't know your family, you don't understand why you may like to ride motorcycles or you may be in a different place that it seems like the rest of the people are not there. That's because you don't know your tree. That is a reward that God allowed me to have this opportunity. But I don't look for nothing back because I live like this. If I get my rewards here, then what's there to look for? See, because I'm living for my crown. Tell them I'm your favorite. <laughs> well, I'm going to put it like this. Um, this trip, my oldest son's first born, well, second born, Victoria. By having her here, there was a lot of questions for her, not only from my side, but now with her mother that's interested in finding out about her tree. This would give her some insight to help her mother find out how to find out more from being here. I think also being here looking at the history of the black people here, that's even more educational for her as well. 
Because when you come and view something for yourself, you may have not thought about it as deeply until you actually come in and see all what can be done and what has been done, then that gives you a more encouragement to go forward into it. And I would have chose her anyway to come with me. She understands me. <laughs> uh, what started out as a little ball is now going into a bigger ball that needs more pieces to fit in. From this visit, it put something for me personally back. We need a family reunion because there is so many different facets of the family that do not know who they are connected to. I believe in the future in my heart for African Americans that one day we will be given restitution for the time that we served during slavery. And so all I can say is this is a wonderful place. You need to come and view it, even if you're just taking a day just to have a day to do nothing. This is a place to get educated on just where our people came from, the things that they went through, how they survived through it, and now where we are today. So I love it. I thank God that you all have it here, and I will come back and visit often.